Hello. Hey coach, how are you? Good, how's it going? Great, thanks for joining us. We'll get right into questions for you. Okay. Um, let's start with James Krepia from the Oregonian. Missy, just wanted to confirm that Deja's uh, moved on and uh, what that does in the outfield, but if uh, just personnel, if uh, if Ariel uh, in particular is still uh, one of the players, obviously we saw a lot in the fall uh, and a lot of the fall games in the outfield, does she solidify the spot? Yeah, Ariel came back um, extremely prepared for this year. She put a lot of time in the summer. Um, she has put so much into her swing and what she's done in the outfield that she's one that I'm really looking forward to seeing what this year is going to look like for her. I think you're going to see her explosive at the plate. She's worked really hard with Coach Martyr on her swing. She runs extremely well. And then just the experience that she's had from working in the outfield, um, I feel very, very good about her in the outfield. And then Deja's moved on and left the program. Yes. Chris Hansen, Register Guard. Yeah. Hey. I'm curious, you know, coming off of last season, what some of the things you needed, you felt like the team needed to improve upon the most and, and, and how that's been going in the off season and how you feel going into the season with those, with those aspects changing. Yeah, I think, I mean, obviously there's plenty of things that, I mean, as a coach, you're always like, we can improve on in the different areas, but I think overall, just one, our depth, uh, this year we are, this is the deepest that we've been since I've been here. And so with that depth, what happens is that every single day that these guys go to practice, there's major competition at every spot. So I think there's been times in the past where we can let up a little bit on a day because I don't, I feel like I don't have somebody pushing me where this year, that's what I've seen more than anything. There, there's such a push every single day um, and the pressure and the competitiveness that's being applied at practice that I've what we've seen these guys done in the fall and even right now in the month of January, it's been great. They're all athletic, but it's just amazing when you have that uh, competition going on and what it does for you. Julian Minnesota, KZI. Uh, Missy, what do you look for in the, these opening games? I'm sure um, as a coach, there's always something you look for in the early part of the season. So, so what are some of those things? You know, the main thing I want to see is just where are we? I mean, all year we've been talking to them about, you know, what do you as an individual bring to this table and how are you dependable? And if you are, where, where are you dependable? Are you dependable on offense? Are you dependable on defense? You know, how dependable are you on the mound? So, you know, going into this first weekend, it's the first weekend. We're going to have some nerves. I mean, there's, there's no question, but from there, it's what I want to see more than anything is just the work that this group has put in that nothing needs to be forced. Trust the process, trust that what they've done up to this point is plenty good enough. And um, now let's play together versus constantly playing against each other. Brian Milano, KWVA. Coach, Jazz Williams back into the fold after mm -hmm. taking a season off. How is she sort of adjusting to getting back on the diamond? She's great. I cannot say enough about Jazz and what she has done this fall and in the month of January. Um, I, I'm so proud of her and just her ability to be a student athlete, to be a mom, to um, to be a wife, to just have, wear all many hats and to be able to handle each area. She's present. Every time she comes to practice, she is present. And then she has an opportunity to go home and she is present, but she has just um, worked extremely hard. And I think you all are going to really enjoy watching her play this year. Rob Mosley, GoDucks.com. Several new faces on the roster. Who, who do you feel like was going to be in the mix right off the bat next week? And, and um, presumably some, you know, some kids are continuing to work and develop, but you know, is there going to be kind of instant impact from some of these new faces? Um, for sure. Definitely. I, I think you'll, you'll get to see a freshman. Her name is Paige Sinicki and she, I think of her as like the female Pete Rose. Uh, she just is like a hustler and she's a competitor and she, every single day shows up 
and gives it her all in everything we do. She never, ever lets up. And she just competes and she makes the people around her compete. And I really like that about her. Um, she's excellent on defense. She's explosive at the plate. She's got great speed. I think she's one you're gonna really enjoy watching. Uh, KK Humphreys, she's a transfer from Fullerton. Uh, explosive at the plate. She's got a cannon for an arm. And what I like is that she's got a year of you know college softball under her belt. She's already played one year, so she's a sophomore. Um, that what's been really cool is that our returners are impactful because they're experienced. Our newcomers um, are impactful they, because they bring so much to the table. So again, I just think it just goes back to that depth. Um, Stevie Hansen, she's got great, great movement on the mound, really good movement. So I think you're going to, our team's going to look different. I think from this year uh, compared to our past three years, you're just going to see our team look different. That's probably the best way to describe this year. Chris Tracy, Scoop Duck. Coach, just a quick question. Um, are all of the players that are on the roster, are they all available right now? There's no injuries or anything? Yeah, no, I mean, these guys got some bumps and bruiser, bruises. That's going to play, you know, that's kind of typical. But right now, yep. Yeah. We're continuing okay. to move forward. And then just to kind of as a follow-up, you were talking before about kind of the team. If you had to kind of put into words an identity, um, I, I characterized that first year you were here, they were kind of like a prize fighter that didn't know any better. And they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. And if they got knocked down, they just stood back up, you know, not knowing any better. This, this team has now had four years under your tutelage. How would you identify or characterize them? Um, this team... Like I said, the depth, we're very, very deep, which is exciting. This team really likes to play with each other. They really like to play with each other. They like to compete. They enjoy coming to the park every day. They enjoy going to the weight room. Like they get it. You know, I think with young teams as a coach, you're, you're coaching them and explaining to them why they need to how important the weight room is because they're going to be so much more explosive at the plate. And you're trying to explain all these different things and how they all piece together. And I think this year, more than anything, they get it. They just get it. It makes sense to them. They see things differently this year than I think they've seen in the past. Uh, this team also is coming off falling short at the regional last year. And that is something that drives them. You know, the, they did not have that postseason experience prior. Now they have it. So again, they, they have a better idea of knowing exactly what they need to do and how to go about it. From day one, this team has started off strong and they've consistently showed up all fall and through January. So I just, that's what I think about most is just that they are competitive. They enjoy to play with each other and they just, they get it. They have the experience. Eric Lopez in the Circle Podcast. Coach, obviously you got some new faces on the staff. Just wanted to ask you about Sam Barter and, of course, mm -hmm. Oregon great Nikki Reagan, as well as Alyssa, and how you all fitting in as a staff and, and kind of your vision with them. And then also you mentioned the new players, like a Carissa Ornelas. What does she bring mm -hmm. to the yeah. table? And 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 how how is it do you get to know her and they get to know you since they played somewhere else in that adjustment? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Well, going just to start off with Carissa, I didn't mention her earlier, but she's a lefty that's got a sweet swing on her. And just, I think of all the scrimmages and fall games and, um, you know, just the at-bats that she's had in just the short time she's been with us. And she's shown that she can hit, she can drive the ball. She can hit the gap. She can hit the ball over the fence. Um, I love, and she's left-handed. I think that's one thing you're going to see too. We've always been right-handed through the lineup. We had one lefty last year. You know, we had two lefties, but at times we'd only have one lefty in the lineup. And I think you're going to definitely see our lineup look different. Um, I think for myself and even for the other coaches, when these athletes come in, whether they're transfers, whether they're new, whether they've been here, it's, it's the relationship piece. It's all about the relationships. And we spend a lot of time as a team and getting to know each other and putting ourselves in situations to understand um the other and to you know when new ones come in we talk about having open arms and allowing them to come in and settle in and be themselves 
and not feel like they have to be something different to be accepted in this group. And by our returners doing that, I think it allows our new ones to come in and settle in quickly. And so they settle in school, they settle in socially, and then obviously they settle in on the field. So, but we take a lot of time with that piece. That's a major, major piece. That's what allows us to be strong with our culture or the things that we're doing off the field. Uh, they're just as important as what we're doing on the field. Um, this coaching staff is a tremendous staff. I cannot say enough about these guys and how each one of them and what they bring to the table. Um, Sam Martyr and just watching her work with our hitters. And the thing of it is, is that she runs our hitting, but then Nikki is in there and so is Liz. So, um, but just seeing the things that she's been doing with them and maybe certain things that our hitters have struggled with in the past, she's been able to get them to understand how to go about that and it not be a struggle. With um, Nikki being an All-American um, Oregon athlete, alumni, you know, she's gone to the World Series. She's gone, she's won Pac-12 championships. Like it's, it's something there's, there's more to it. Anytime you can coach and coach at your alma mater, there's really something to say about that. Like your, your heart is so connected because you've, you've done it. You've, you've been where they've been. And so they can ask her questions and she knows exactly um, how they feel or what they're going through because she was a student athlete here, but she is a tremendous teacher. And I look, I, I feel like our defense has always been solid, but with what coach has done with them, our defense is going to be really, really good this year. Really, really good. And uh, coach Liss, you know, she's coming off of just going to the world series with Arizona. She's played at a high, high level her entire career. And with her just coming out of school, I think she has like, she's that little bridge, I think between me being more of an elder and her coming out of school and just basically dealing with these guys are currently dealing with. So um, each one of them goes about things, goes about things differently, but it's, it's impactful. I, I cannot say enough about this group and I'm, I'm excited for you all to see our, our athletes, but I'm excited for you to see this coaching staff and how they go about things. It's crap, yeah. Missy, one about the big picture and one more specific to personnel, but to the big picture, with what you lost in the seniors, beyond statistics, certainly with Haley, but there was so much in the intangible from her and her presence and Shay and her tenacity uh, and Maddie and what she lived through in life and Samaria, uh, for that matter. Who in this group, from a personality standpoint has taken on some of those roles of, again, they did so many things intangibly that probably was wildly more valuable than even the box score contribution. Yeah. What I think is pretty cool is that um, when it's time for our seniors to move on, it's very important to them that they pass the torch. And I think our senior group last year did a really good job of that. If you look at um, really our freshmen that have been here since day one with Tara McGowan and Rachel Sid, um, you look at Jordan, you look at Ali Bunker, Brooke Yanez. Um, I think those guys have passed the torch to them and it's their, you know, it's their team now. And I don't think any of them can be what the seniors were, but it's like, it just gives them the opportunity to be the next one. You know, it's next woman up as how I kind of look at it. And I think this group is ready to do that. So this I appreciate so much what Haley Cruz did for this program and Samaria and Shay and all of them. Like I'm so thankful and what they've left behind this, this group is picked up and they're, they're ready to be strong leaders. And what I like is that, you know, you have um, Tara's firm with her leadership and I like that, but then if somebody is needing more, you know, something else. I think you can go to bunk and get something different. Rachel, you can get something different. So we don't have to depend on one person to try to do it all. We've, we've got enough here to know when to lead and to also know when to be led. And for a couple more, Chris Hansen. Yeah, do you have a starting lineup in mind already? And maybe more importantly, are you willing, are you willing to disclose what that starting lineup <laughs> is already? <laughs> I think, you know, you think of some starters that were in there last year, I would think you would expect to see them again. 
we're still kind of putting the final touches on things. So, but what I like is that I could give you a starting lineup and I can give you another starting lineup and I could give you another starting lineup. And again, that just goes to the depth that we have. So, um, you know, I think you look to see Allie at second, um, you know, Jazz and Paige and um, those guys have been battling at short. Paige has been battling at third with Rachel. I think you'll look to see Rachel there. I mean, there's certain ones, returners that I think you could definitely pencil in. I think there's other, you know, spots that we're still, we're still finishing up. Last question, Rob Mosley. Well, I'll take a shot at asking about the pitching staff in the same vein then. You've obviously got a lot of experience in the circle, but obviously a lot of young talent too. What, do you, what are the sorts of things you, you look to sort through in the next month before you get to conference play perhaps? I think the biggest thing that they all understand is that in order for us to win our pitchers, regardless who it is on the mound, has to, you know, we talk about give us an opportunity to win the game. That doesn't mean strike out 10 and throw a no hitter. Give us an opportunity to win the ball game. They, they understand what that means. Um, you know, you got to see Brooke throw a lot of innings last year. And what I like is that this year, our staff is much more experienced. Um, and so her not having to take on the amount of innings last, you know, this year as she did last year. Um, I think it's all about matchups. And so if you look at Brooke and you look at Jordan and you look at Stevie, they, they understand how to spin the ball up and spin the ball to the side. Um, you look at Allison, you look at Reagan, they throw the ball hard and they throw the ball down and have good change of speed. So what I really like is that we're going to have so many different matchups that we're going to go to this year that we, we need a staff. We need a staff to do that. Sometimes your best pitcher um, great. She's your best pitcher, but she doesn't quite match up with the opponent that we're playing. And so I think one thing they all understand is that we don't need one of them to take the reins that we need each one of them to give us opportunity. Coach, thank you for taking the time. Best of luck this season. All right. Thanks you guys.